Oh my god, I got Borderlands a day early, big fucking deal. But yeah, we're gonna do the unboxing today. Before I get to the unboxing, I also picked up a week ago my new favorite Xbox 360 game, Magna Carta 2 for the Xbox 360. Awesome fucking game. I mean, the battle system, the story, real fun. You know I'm talking about this game is just out fucking standing to me. You can, you know, say whatever you want, but uh, yeah, let's get on to this unboxing. What? Demon's Souls is better. My beard told me. Shut up, baby. Just shut up. So, yeah, we're gonna unbox Borderlands right now. So, uh, check it out. That's the bag. It's the front, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought ahead of the game. I ripped up half of it. Yeah. So, I, I thought about it. I wasn't gonna fight with this shit on camera. I got, I got a stupid ass motherfucker in my other videos. Um, what is the point of unboxing videos? Uh, they're stupid. Well, let me ask you a question. Why the fuck are you looking up unboxing videos in the first place? How the fuck did you find this video? It, it's just a matter of preference. Some people just like this nerdy shit. I'm a gamer. I'm a big, fat, fucking nerdy gamer. And I like doing shit like this. I like sharing my happiness with everyone. When I unbox a game... You know, I'm happy that I, you know, I got to finally see what's inside. I mean, I'm about to put this in shit. Well, I, I just want to share my excitement. Another big thing is some people, some people who don't buy the game, they're all, they're curious about like the artwork like, on the disc or like inside the case. The yeah, back exactly. Of the look, 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 look. This they're just curious about the artwork. So look, look. This game, oh. this game, multi-platform, and it has artwork on the inside. That's awesome. That's fucking sick. But yeah, some people be like, oh, why do you unbox shit? Why do you care? Why are you watching the video? You stupid fuck. But yeah, there's Borderlands, post more post apocalyptic fun, and oh my god, my English is horrible. But um, I say post apocalyptic. Damn, I gotta go back to school. <laughs> I said post apocalyptic. <laughs> it happens. Um, shit. But yeah, once again, Borderlands, and check out Magna Carta too, if you have a 360. I know the majority of my subscribers are PS3 people. For, for, for like my five 360 subscribers, <laughs> check out Magna Carta too. <laughs> and yeah, so um, Dave, you beat Demon yeah. Souls. How, how yeah. was it? I think it was really good. Uh, very much so good. It was very much so good. Wow, good job, Puerto Rican. Very much so good. Very much so good. What didn't you like about it? <clears throat> Just the repetitive AI. Like. I mean, yeah, I can understand, you, you You know, you die, everything respawns, resets, that's understandable, but like, from stage to stage, if it's like the same kind of, per, like, mob you're fighting, they have the same tendencies that they did, like, the stage before, like, two stages later, they all have the same tendencies. Like, other than that, like, it was pretty good. Oh, yeah, and, um, the whole, like, no storyline thing throughout the- Yeah, I read that on the game, it's like, eh. It's like- like, did, did, didn't you say earlier that you beat the game and you still had no fucking clue what was going on yeah, on the storyline? I mean, unless, if you watch the beginning movie, it doesn't really say much. I mean, it, it kind of gives you the same background as like, if you actually read the instruction manual on the first page, it tells you what happened. But like, in between that and beating the game, there's nothing like that's in between showing you like the progress of everything. It's just like you knowing what's going on. So, so basically Demon's Soul is all gameplay, no substance really. Like, 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 no yeah. backbone to it. Yeah. yeah, no story, I guess, yeah. It's pretty much what it is. Well, you know what? We get story in Magna Carta 2, all right? We get story. It's your, it's your typical zero to hero kind of shit. So it's like, it's the same storyline like we've been going through for years. Like, this guy has amnesia and like, he becomes a hero and like, he gets his memory back. Like, that hasn't been done a thousand times. But at least we have story, goddammit. Fucking faggot. I mean, it's a good game. I don't care. There's no story. Story. It's a good game. I just like the fact that they try some. They try something new with it. So it's pretty cool. Hey Dave. Yeah. They ever tell you you're gay? You tell me that every time I come over your house. Oh, okay, just making sure.